Hi everyone. I want to talk about this explosion that happened in a uh, town in Germany. The name of the town is Leuna, L-E-U-N-A, and it happened at a hydrogen production facility that belongs to a company called Linde, L-I-N-D-E, Linde. Just to make clear, I own teeny amount of stock in Linda, and I am for the production of hydrogen for use in large vehicles like ferries, freight trains, that sort of thing. Although I have worked in chemical plants, I don't know anything specifically about Linda or its processes or its equipment or materials. I know very little about the specifics here. I want to go through some things that I've noticed about this explosion. Let's just take a look at the explosion. Here's the, here's the explosion. So this is a, a trailer, a semi-trailer, that has a bunch of hydrogen tanks on it. Here's another one, here's another one. The trailer that exploded is here, right? And it seems to have these larger vessels on it and I counted 10 of them. Let's take a, a, another look at this. There you can see here are the ones that have 10 vessels. These are, have more vessels that are smaller and this appears to be, these appear to be vessels that were thrown off of the trailer. Here's one sticking up because it looks to me like it's been crushed. Let's take a look at uh, Google Maps. So here is the facility in Linda, and um, there are these two tall slender towers, and then there's one here. And if you do a little geometry, it looks to me like the row of trailers that was affected is this row here. So let me back away so you can see the whole thing. Here's the town of Loina. This is what I think is the road right here. I think it was probably one of these ones. So if you take a look at this building here, it's, I think it's got a slightly beige tint to it. And if you um, look at this picture here, that looks to me like that's the um, building in the background. Now take a look at this. This to me appears to be um, this vessel right here. Fire hose set up here, and then some other some firemen are here. So let's take a look at those guys. There's one of the fire hoses set up spring. So what is this big, massive rectangular object? With, with gas cylinders crushed, sticking out. So here are the firemen. Here's one fire hose spring. There's another one. There's another one. You get a little bit of a rainbow. So here's a trailer. You can see the trailer is leaning to the left here. I think that's because the tires were blown out by the explosion. These are stacks, right? or some kind of stack, something to vent something up and away from the facility. And you see here that there is this extremely rigid I-beam construction. This is a, a structure that's intended to hold these vent stacks up because they would collapse under their own weight. Here you can see these two towers, just to give you an idea, and then that tower, which means that the pipe rack and uh, the row of semi-trailers that, that we're talking about is located over here. So let's take a look at that again. So there's those two towers, there's that tower, here's the pipe rack, here's the row of things, and then take a look at this. What the hell fell on that trailer? Do you see how there are these cross beams? So this is meant for extreme rigidity. Take a look at this one. This one doesn't have the full double cross beam construction. It only has a single diagonal.
cross beam. Here it's in kind of a V-shape on one side, and here it's just diagonal here. Now if you take a look at whatever the hell it is that fell on that trailer, it has an X-beam, which is stronger construction than this. It has an X-beam every several feet, which means this thing is intended to be super strong, so it's supposed to hold something up. It looks to me like it fell. I get the feeling that this thing was being hauled by a crane or a forklift or something and it fell down on one of the trailers. That's what it looks like to me. Articles, they're talking about a leak. Like this was caused by a leak. Well, if I drop something on top of a pressure cylinder such that it crushes the cylinder, not just one, but like 10 of them. Here are these cylinders. These are big cylinders. Whatever this is that fell on that trailer, it sent these cylinders flying. This one was obviously crushed and is therefore leaking. I don't understand why nobody's talking about what caused the cylinders to be crushed. They're saying a leak caused a fire. Well, I imagine that the penultimate step in the process was a leak, but the steps that led up to that step were a lot more dramatic. Whatever this thing is, it looks to me like it fell on that trailer. And what I think it is, is it's one of these probably prefabricated and was being hauled by a crane or something and it fell onto the row of trailers and it hit one of these. I, I guess I'm not too crazy about this idea that the explosion was caused by a leak.